Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Factorio Living with Biters. So, in the previous episode, we were trying to sort out this. Also, something happened down there somewhere that we'll, uh, we'll go and investigate, but I want to just try and get this finished first. Uh, we've got everything sorted, apart from one thing, which is that we need a belt with circuits and iron coming out of here anywhere. It doesn't matter where. The issue being that there is literally no room to do anything. Uh, here, so I I don't know how to do it exactly. Hmm. I th I think if I get a splitter there, that won't work. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna take this out because the steel line will change in future, I'm pretty sure. So, we don't have to have the belt balancer thing, because something will happen that means we we don't need that. So that gives us a little bit more room to maneuver. And what we can do is, uh, if we can find that again, we can put that there. We have an odd number of those. That is horrific. I'm sure there's good reason somewhere. Ah, uh, there it is. There we go. We've got an even number again. I'm happy. Okay, so... We need iron to come from here and go somewhere else. We can't have something go down there because there's already far too much stuff there. So it probably has to cross over to here. So actually that thing with the steel was irrelevant. How can we improve this? Oh, there's a biter attack. It's a tree over there. It's fine, as long as he doesn't go on to blowing anything... No, he's not blowing anything else up, we're good. Hmm. One thing I've realised between episodes is that I could literally just move all this, and that'd be fine, but I don't... I don't I've set myself this challenge now, I think. And I have to try and complete it, but I don't know how. This doesn't have to be here. That can go. That can also go. That makes things a little easier. Sort of. If... The issue is that this is too compressed. Oh. Biter attack, what, in the, in the middle of everything? Oh, oh, up here. There. What's your problem? Your problem is there's no belts here. Off you go that way. Have you gone? Hopefully. Yeah, there's a bit of an issue with this that there aren't any belts in between because it's just a bit too compressed for that. Hmm. Anyway. The issue is... Not necessarily a problem because we can split it before it crosses this gap. Which is messy, but might just work. We can deliver this to here. And then put a splitter, not a splitter, an underground belt here. And where would we go from there? I guess down this bit, which would work. So, and we need some more of these. Uh, I want to pop outside and mess with that, but I would need to block this off. So it comes out there. Belt just does a little bit of a shuffle. And everything's absolutely fine in that respect. We get this belt coming from here. We'll hop back inside for a moment. And if we have this outputting, it outputs onto that side. So... We can get a splitter... somewhere. There it works. Because if we then 
Send this this way. And that that way, we have our belt. Oh, that's a mess. But you know what, I quite like that, because... In, in my other Factorial series, everything is really ordered and carefully planned out beforehand, and... Sometimes you just have to make something that's stupid. But works. Now, the, the sides the sides are still correct, even. The iron is on the side it's supposed to be, the, the circuits are on the side it's supposed to be. That's fantastic. Well, there you go. Mental, but it doesn't matter, because it works. So we send this this way. We need a bunch more belts. We want to clear this out. In fact, we can cut back a lot of this mess. I think I'll even get rid of these gates. Just have walls. The issue is there's a power pole here that is apparently required. Oh, if I break that, nothing happens. Ah, because we've got the long-range power pole now, so we don't actually need this, like any of this line here. This can all go. And then we can actually do the original point of this entire thing, which was to expand the circuit production. We can have that light there. Alright. So we want to put this in here. We can cut all this back. Cut this back. Open up this. That is terrible, but whatever. That can connect up there, very nice. We can cut all of this out. This can now go this way. Connect up to that. We could even do a little bit of trimming here, but I think we'll leave it for now. And over here, we need to do some messing about and expanding. I've just spotted a thing, actually, that I could do. I'm going to break that, and these, and momentarily this, which could go wrong. No, you don't. We're going to have this go from here instead. And it's going to go to there. Yeah, that works. That is doable. And then we can do this, and shrink this entire section, and square it off nicely. This belt can go off this way. I can cut some of this, move it all in. Like so. Alright. This will get boxed off momentarily as well because we'll be using that. Um, but we'll leave that for a second because I remember something happened in the south. I forget exactly what. I think something got blown up though. So we should go check on the situation, make sure everything's operating. This is all sort of stopped. Oh, it stopped because the circuit supply stopped. It should be moving again, shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah it, it is, so it's all good. Um, let's check solar panels. The good thing about these uh, surrounding belts is you can use them to get around quicker. Uh, or not, because I'm blocked there. Sneak through that bit. All well and good. Moving on to the steam engines. Uh, okay, so what got blown up was a burner inserter. So I'll get that back operational, but the thing is, this is all shut down anyway. So uh, let's go look at our mining drill. I imagine it's dead, but I don't. I think there's still going to be materials there. It's still going to be ore. Handy. Yeah, it's run out of fuel. There's Oh, there's only 93 ore left. Let's put that in. The thing is, it can still sidestep, and there's a bunch more ore right there, so it's not over yet for this. What's blowing up now? Oh, it's gone. Well, it didn't blow up, it just got attacked, so that's all good. Right, that'll get this running again, because at the moment, it's not providing any power. How is the power? Uh, ooh, what happened there? That was weird. Oh, yeah, that's the... Oh, no, oh that was when this steam engine's... Oh yeah, the power requirements kept dropping, and then at that point the steam engines weren't needed anymore, which meant that the solar panels could drop slightly, but only a little bit, and then it went up again. Oh, it's because I was messing around with the system, things powered down because nothing was happening. 
and then things powered up again because things started happening again. A little bit of repair work needed on the side of here. That's all good at the moment. There's far more production capacity than is being used. We will fix that. We need ourselves five assemblers. So that will go there and then there'll be one here and here which means that we want to bring the walls out just to here I think will work. That'll be alright. And we'll just put in what bits we can. We'll stop the belts because otherwise they'll just cause issues with biters piling up. Fill in this bit. There's a couple hanging around. Let's just seal this guy off. But this guy, oh, he's stuck because he can't get out. There you go. And quickly break that. Do that with it. And then we're going to put in our belts. It's going to come out there. So one, two, three, four. Then that to there. Empty this. Clear it. That continues on as well, though it doesn't need to because we can just have this go over land now. In fact, we need it to for it to work properly. So, there. Oh, uh, the, yeah, the guy there has moved. Someone else crawled in for a second, but they've gone again, so we can put that there. Clear out all of the innards. And this is now nice and square. I guess I can still make it uh, diagonal for the same reasons that I could with that. Right. That. And those. We'll probably need a few more inserters. Not many, though. And uh, I think, yeah, one long armed. And then we'll have this, this, this. All lines up nicely. Then that. Uh, inputs. More inputs and outputs. The necessary belts. And I think now all we need to do is actually set up the assemblers. That looks functional. Yeah, that's all going. There we have it. We've doubled up the circuits, so we do need to sort out the outer belts yet. Make sure that's all fine. And I hope that the copper supply is enough. I imagine it is. But that'll be something that remains to be seen. If it does turn out that the circuits use up too much copper, I'll have to set up a bypass line, which will involve expanding this out again, which will mess up this, actually, so it'll have to expand out two squares back to where it was, and it would have all been pointless. But anyway... Oh, dear. Uh, we'll go out here, put that back in place, and I guess we'll go on to the next thing. Let's go check on Blue Science now. Oh, we should put back in the, uh, the storage chest. Oh, hello, Mr. Mr. Medium Biter there, looking ominous. Right. We can put the thing right back where it was before. We never needed to deconstruct this in the end. Put the power pole in. Give it a limit. And that should all be good. This is actually stopped. Interestingly enough. I don't know whether that's a problem necessarily. I, uh, hmm. It depends on if that line is supplying enough right now for the smart inserters. Considering how much smart inserters use, that might not be enough and we might need to switch to uh, faster belts. Though for that we'll have to actually make faster belts first. Which is a bit of a faff. I mean, all but this last one are running. We could just get one fast belt compressing there, and that should be a big help. That gets them all running, gets this building up nicely. So I think that's good then. Alright, we'll leave it at that. We'll hop back out. We shouldn't need to mess about in there, so I'm not going to bother with, a, with a, a gate right now. My next job in terms of messing with the factory will be to sort out the steel stuff there because I'm, I'm not happy with where it is. 
Um, no biters have attacked it recently, but that may change. And also it's weird. Right, so the science looking good. The, the blue and the green are running down a bit, but they've not run down past all the uh, assemblers, which would be the important thing. Power's gone rubbish, so let's see why. Let's look at the past hour to get some comparison. Ooh, an attack over at the copper. Does it go away? Is it going away? Oh, it, yeah, it's being s sent around. Eventually, he'll get where he wants to go. I think he has. All right. Uh, where were we? Checking power. Okay, so if we look at it in the last hour, we can see the changes. Uh, steam power has lost some of its potential thanks to the, uh, the issues with the, the lower power station, how that's just sort of dying now. Apart from that, I think we just need more stuff in many ways. More accumulator squares, more solar panels. Where are the accumulator squares? There's no more room for a square right there. I guess we can just dot them around the place. It doesn't really matter where they are. Well, let's go over to the blue science production then, because that is where the accumulators get made. We can check up on the science, see what the situation is with this new flow of circuits. Is it enough? It's all being used up. And if we go over here, there's a bit of a build-up, which is better than before. Before there was none at all, so it may be that there's enough circuits coming through just about to keep it running, but we do want to keep an eye on that. And really, if we can, work on getting some more production going. Um, well, no, not getting, getting more delivered to it. I guess more production will also be needed because we do have all of the, um, the circuit assemblers running right now. So yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff needs doing. To, to keep that going well. At the moment, it's fairly good, though. I think all these assemblers are running. Yeah, they are. That's I'm pretty happy with that. All eight of them are going. That's a good sign. Signs should be motoring along fairly nicely. Uh, so now, let's grab batteries. Is there a way to grab them? I guess there wouldn't be a way to grab them. For, oh, no, there is a way to grab them outside. Right here. Oh, I'm also grabbing advanced circuits. I... Actually, I could do with some of them, but not as many as I will end up if I grab as many as I'll be grabbing uh, batteries. Let's get up to the 200. And then we'll shift our position a little bit. I've once again forgotten how many batteries I need. So I just have to work it out. What is it? Five batteries for each one. So, uh, yeah, it's 240 batteries, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. So let's start the work. Oh, and the batteries have run out. Hopefully that's not too much of a problem. If I go to the end of the line, that is a bit of a problem actually because the uh, the belts aren't positioned in a, in a useful way for that. I should probably get a storage uh, chest for belt for batteries. I can just do this. It's slower though. What does that get us to? Not much. Okay, the, I'll, what I'll do... I'll extend this line for now. Deal with the issues later, and we can just hoover them up. And it allows, it means that they all go through the system, so they can all be turned into blue science packs if needed. Uh, but otherwise, I can take them all. So we can craft another 20. That brings us up to 40, so we only need... 40 batteries more? Yeah. However, the battery line has now run out, so it'll take a minute to get them all. It's good, though, because we can make sure we get the exact right number. Five more. I think some of them will be being grabbed before they get to me as well. Three. Two. Oh, that one grabbed just before it reached me. Here's one. One more. Got it. Okay. So that should be the correct number being crafted. Now we'll just grab this for a second. Put those all in there. I shouldn't have broken the wall first. That could have gone badly. I think this will... Actually, I'll go check up on the... Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll finish it there. We can check up on oil some other time. It's not that important right now, I don't think. Sulfuric acid is full. That's basically the only thing that matters. Oh, plastic as well, which is also looking absolutely fine. A nice amount of blue science running down here. It's not built up, but 
we've got four out of, no not four out of ten uh, well four out of five eight out of ten uh, labs running so that's good pretty happy I was about to say what is this mess but I realized there isn't a uh, underground belt there that needs to be there that's a shame it makes an awful looking sticky out bit all right so we're in the middle of crafting these so once they're all crafted we'll actually build them for now uh, I don't know I guess that's the next thing work on more power stuff we'll do more solar panels as well because we need need that as well uh, and I don't know what we'll do we'll maybe even add more steam engines we'll work it out we probably need to do belt production module production there's a lot of production needs doing at the end of the day but anyway I shall say goodbye thank you for watching and I shall see you next time